beauty of doing an animated film, I would guess, would be you don't have to worry about this. A camera all the time in your face. You can wear your PJs, not worry about hair and makeup. Did yeah. you take advantage of that? Um, I never wore my PJs. <laughs> I wish I had now because it would be a better story to tell. But no, I, I wore jeans most of the time, I think. The director said they saw a lot of sensible shoes. A lot of sensible shoes, yeah. A lot of orthopedic yeah. insoles. Your character in the movie gets really excited when she gets a gift of shoes. Yes. What is the last gift that you received that got you really, really excited or worked up? Um, I, uh, somebody made a piece of furniture for me. That was really exciting. Custom furniture. It was. That it does was the really trick. Wonderful. Yeah, it was pretty. It was pretty incredible. What kind of furniture? It's a chair. It's really beautiful. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, last question. How is Spider-Man going and what's it like having Jamie Foxx as the baddie this time around? I haven't gotten to work with Jamie yet, but at the table read, it was unbelievable. He's so, so incredible. He's such a great actor. And um, yeah, so it's fun. <laughs> This could be considered the world's first family road trip. Yeah. So what is your favorite mem memory of the craziest road trip you've ever taken? I mean, every road trip we ever took as kids were, was, was straight up bloodshed. I, my, I have three older brothers. One's a cop. My dad was a cop. I mean, it was just like, it was like a moving Irish mob kind of like making its way south toward Disneyland. It was always a, it was always sort of a terrifying experience. So. What is the last gift you gave or received that made you or someone else really, really, really thrilled or really excited? Wheeled? Um, yes. I don't. You know, uh, somebody made somebody uh, made a book for me oh. uh, on my birthday, and that was kind of incredible. It was a book they they contacted everyone from second grade through now in my life, and yes. they all wrote like a little short story or something. That made me fall over. That was the greatest gift I think I've ever been given. So. Wow. You know, when you're doing an animated movie, you really have to rely on your anim your imagination because you don't have the other actors to work off of and you don't have the world to, to uh, interact with. So you have to go inside and, and try to make it real even though it's all from the mind, you know? How does being a dad help you with that? Because I'm sure you're doing a lot of imagination and pretend play. And yes, well, the, the thing is that Grug, he takes the overprotective thing way too far, which is what's funny about him, but he's, he's just entirely overprotective. Over the top with that. In my own life, I have a legitimate level of concern because if you love your kids, you're going to worry. But I hope I'm not like Grug. Do you think I'm like Grug? Uh, not quite, but he's a protective dad for sure. What's he like as a dad? Uh, he plays with them. He, they're like he's like daddy's boy, you know. So they're very, very close. That's very. What kind of memories do you have of rebelling as a teen in your own life? Since that's part of this story as well. I, I was born rebelling from the very beginning. I've, I'm sure I was a great source of frustration for everyone in my family. 